Good afternoon and welcome to today's concert. And I thought this time I'd give you a town hall organ recital. And where better to do it than here? One of the finest Victorian town halls in the entire world, Rochdale Town Hall. Now, it's closed at the moment, but Tom, my brother's here filming and recording and we've been given special permission to come in and do this concert for you today. I've been coming in here since I first started playing the organ and in those days it cost just 50 pence to come and play this organ for an hour. It's been wonderfully looked after over the years and their regular recitals promoted by Oldham Rochdale and Tameside Organist Association who very kindly made me their honorary president and every year I do a traditional Christmas organ concert in here. The town hall was opened in 1871 and it ran so vastly over its original budget estimate of £20,000, it cost a vast £160,000 in the end, they couldn't afford the organ originally, so they left a space here and the organ was eventually put in in 1913. To build the organ they got James Jepson Binns of Leeds. Now Binns was one of the greatest organ builders of the late 19th and early 20th century, renowned for beautiful voicing very powerful instruments but most of all his reliability of his organs. He earned the name Battleship Bins and I can certainly say that's true because this organ hasn't really been played or tuned for at least three or four months which is absolutely incredible for an instrument of this size in a hall this size. It was opened on the 9th of July 1913 in the presence of King George V and Queen Mary and the recital was given by Herbert Walton, the organist of Glasgow Cathedral and I'm going to play one of the pieces he included in that concert, the Jig Fugue by Johann Sebastian Bach. This is a four part fugue, each part enters one by one, three in the hands and then one in the feet and as well as being in a jig rhythm, it's also called the Jig Fugue probably because by the end of the piece the organist actually looks with his feet like he's dancing a jig. This is Johann Sebastian Bach's Jig Fugue.
Of course, these organs were designed to entertain whole towns and cities. This hall holds about 500 people at its maximum capacity, and they can be entertained by one organist. And one of the ways of doing that was to play orchestral transcriptions. And this style of organ is uh, meant to be highly expressive with lots of orchestral sounds. Uh, there's beautiful flutes, tubers, trumpets, oboes, you name it. It's got everything enclosed in big swell boxes so we can have expressive sound. So I'm going to demonstrate that with a, an orchestral transcription. The Valtavar by Smetna. Now, the Valtavar is a river, uh, the largest river in Bohemia, and it travels all the way from high up in the hills and down past Prague through the Czech Republic. Smetna wrote this piece to describe the journey of the river as it begins from its source high in the hills, a very sort of single sound at the beginning, which is uh, provided by this theme. It builds and builds as more parts come in, a hot stream and a cold stream, before we get the theme. I'm sure is a tune that you all know. That's the main theme of the Valtra, the description of the river. It then goes to meadows, woods, uh, it passes a hunting party, we go into a dance at a farmer's wedding, there's mermaids in the moonlight which shows the beautiful string string sounds of this organ. It then picks up pace again back to the original theme, uh, goes through the St. John Rapids, a very sort of turbulent part of the river, before passing the Vishorad, which is the old fortress of the old kings of the Czech Republic, high on the hillside on the east bank. Um, then it disappears right into the distance uh, out into Germany and there's a final two chords at the end to show the completion of the piece. Now the Vishorad theme, which happens higher in the piece, the... the theme of the old castle high on, high on the hill, um, is interesting because Tom and I were in Prague earlier this year, in February. I'd done a concerto in Hungary, the next day we went to Prague, we got up and walked the 40 minutes up to the Vishorad, high on the hillside, uh, visited Smetna's grave which is there, uh, walked back and then went back to Dresden and did another concerto, uh, that's a typical day out for us. However, Tom did actually get some footage of Smetna's grave while we were there and on that grave is the original opening of this piece. And during the piece, Tom will show the footage he took at Smetna's grave, including the river outside Rochdale Town Hall, too, to fit in with the music. An amazing piece of music, and um, it shows the full resources of this organ, and it's a huge space to fill, and this organ does it magnificently. This is the Veltavar by Smetna.
It's an amazing sound, this instrument. I'm sure you'll agree when that tuba comes in at the end and full organ, it's incredible. I wish you could hear it here in real life. It's a, an incredible sound. So hopefully you'll be able to come to a concert at some point and hear it for yourselves. I'm going to move on to something uh, slightly less decibels, I think now is probably the call. Um, a piece, an aria from Samson and Delilah by Sanson. Now, Samson and Delilah, it was almost 10 years in the making. Biblical themes for operas weren't particularly popular. And uh, Samson takes the tale of Samson and Delilah, a very well-known story from the Bible. He changes it ever so slightly in places. And instead of um, focusing on the heroic deeds of Samson and his famed strength, he focuses on more on Delilah um, and her ruthlessness in... Uh, capturing Samson and ensnaring him with her love and uh, showing his weakness in the, the face of a, a manipulative woman really. Um, this is the area where the main crux of the matter really happens. Mon coeur sur retevoir um, happens two thirds of the way through the opera really. Uh, Samson's with Delilah and she sings this aria to him. It's very seductive. She's trying to seduce him uh, and she sings uh, My heart opens at your voice and it's also known as uh, My heart awakens at your voice. Very many different titles for this piece. Uh, very famous mezzo-soprano aria and it shows all the beautiful sounds of the organ. Very simple arpeggios up and down the organ at the opening and we can use all the solo quiet sounds. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's uh, one of my favourite pieces of music and the thing that these organs really do well is this sort of very expressive sound. It's a, an unmusical instrument in many ways because it's wood, metal and mechanical objects and what we're trying to do is make beautiful expressive music. This is Mon Coeur sur Retavois from Samson and Delilah by Samson.
To finish with today, an iconic organ transcription, Ride of the Valkyries. I'm sure it needs no introduction, but before I finish, I just want to say thank you for watching today. It's been a pleasure to play to you from this wonderful building on this wonderful instrument. Thank you to Tom for filming today, and thank you for everyone at Rochdale Town Hall and all the staff for making us so welcome as ever and allowing us to come in. Now, this transcription of Ride of the Valkyries is by Edwin Lemaire, one of the greatest British organists to ever live. He was really prolific around the first part of the 20th century. He played all over the UK, Australia, South Africa, America. He was organist in San Francisco uh, and eventually died in Hollywood. He'd attract up to 10,000 people at organ concerts and his idea was to make the organ popular so people wanted to hear great music. He did this mainly through lots of orchestral transcriptions and balanced programmes and he said that the city or town hall organist, just like this, should be the centre of every town and city because the most number of people can be entertained at the least cost by just one person, the organist. A brilliant idea and in those days before orchestral concerts, before the radio, CDs, online music, the only way you could hear really great music live was to come to a town hall organ concert and I hope that's what we brought you today really. One of his great transcriptions as I've said is Ride of the Valkyries and it's one of the most difficult that I've ever had to play. I've been learning it for quite a long time and played it on occasions before and it shows an instrument like this brilliantly. Cascades in the right hand up and down the whole keyboard, the left hand plays the bass line, the pedals on the trombone and eventually the tuba play the amazing Ride of the Valkyries theme. It uses absolutely everything you could possibly need and this is an amazing organ for it. Of course, Bin's organs were recommended by Le Maire and he wrote testimonials for them and played the opening recitals of many of them, just like this. So, to finish with today, I hope you enjoy this, it's Ride of the Valkyries. <laughs>